Brian DeMambro here with you to take a look at this nice run of 10 mid-19th century boys books. As you can see, the spines uh, are all gilt pictorial with a Turkish man in a turban, an erupting volcano at the top, and a portrait within a medallion and acanthus leaves at the base of the spine. The boards uh, are embossed with an eagle atop of a wreath and two portraits in a medallion. That's clearly George Washington. And here, it's very difficult to say who, but uh, we'll just pretend that it's either the author or um, perhaps Andrew Jackson or someone. But this first volume is uh, Industry and the Art of Man as displayed in fishing, hunting, commerce, navigation, mining, agriculture, and manufacturing. We note that the contents cover whale fishing, seal fishing, buffalo hunting, huh, it's unbelievable, uh, mining of silver and gold and diamonds, lumbering in Maine, uh, tea, sugar, coffee, tobacco, cotton, and here, for instance, is the first woodcut image of whaling, and we've got um, all the sections. As you can see, the book is tight as issued, and each a uh, little section has its own uh, vignette woodcut as a chapter heading. Second volume is Asiatic History. And the frontis is a Chinese encampment with a Saracen on a horseback there. And at the back, actually, is this little short four-page uh, publisher's catalog. And here it covers uh, Japan, uh, go. There's a view of a town in Japan. And there's Malacca and farther India, Siberia. There's a Chinese ruler there, the Chinese. We've got British India. Hmm. Indian rulers. Marco Polo, Timor, the Turks, Harun al-Rashid. Persia, Hindustan, various gods. I got like a million of them, I think. Babylon, or millions. Here's history of Asia. And this next one is a glance at philosophy. And let's see, we've got political economy, the Bible, Christianity, Christianity, natural theology, moral philosophy, rhetoric, language, logic, oh, phrenology. That's what everybody needs, a little phrenology, analyze your friends, skulls. Um, oh yes, right there. And now we've got celebrated women, interesting topic for 1849. Uh, and we see Isabella of Spain, Mary, Queen of Scots, Marie Antoinette at the scaffold. <laughs> Josephine, wife of Napoleon. Uh, let's see if there's a, yep, there she is and so on. Now, it appears that uh, the set was also available in red cloth, but the red cloth bindings are multiples of scarcity uh, to the brown cloth, probably one in every 10 to 20 brown cloth uh, bindings. You'll find a red one. It would require, I think, uh, quite a bit of time to form this complete set in red cloth. The Book of Literature it might be a fun project to try. Uh, you might be surprised at <laughs> how difficult it is. Uh, a lot of times you don't realize how scarce something is until you actually go looking specifically for it, as opposed to just stumbling onto it uh, randomly. But once you become a dedicated collector of something, you begin to realize that the nuances are el elusive. So here we have, oh, this is interesting, European history, Crusaders. That's right, we're going to go out and tell people exactly what they should be thinking. <laughs> and here is a famous men of modern times. Shakespeare, that might, that's a stretch for modern, but okay. Goethe, Napoleon, huge section on Napoleon, like huge. Byron, Sir Walter Scott. Hmm. Then we've got, ah, Wonders of Geology. Okay, 
There we are, Wonders of Geology, 1853 is this one. Organic and igneous, yes. Second to all kinds of rocks and alluvium, classification, structure of the earth. Uh, I think I saw somewhere on the internet that there's actually, I think, people living at the center of the earth. So maybe they talk about that in here. <laughs> then we've got this last one, a glance at the sciences. And this, the physical sciences, oh, uh, ballooning, uh, aeronautic front is there. And we see here an extensive section on astronomy. Hydrostatics, pneumatics, mechanical powers, electricity, mathematics, electromagnetism, geology, botany, zoology, mineralogy, chemistry, and so on. And this lot of 10 mid-19th century juvenile books is available online from me, Brian DeMambro.